Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying to pull up some sweet potatoes from my garden. What was it? Uh, earlier this year, I had some, I found some voluntary sweet potatoes growing out of my greenhouse, which I can never get rid of. They just spontaneously keep growing. Um, but I found three slips and I planted them in one of my gar empty garden beds that I had at the time and boof, just filled the whole bed up. And uh, so we had a couple nights of frost, killed all the leaves off just recently. Now I'm gonna go in there and see if we can get any kind of sweet potatoes. I think these are the red, oh, I forgot what they call them. They're the Japanese sweet potatoes. Anyways, they're red skinned, but they're white on the inside. I'm almost positive that's what they are. Um, if not, I'll take whatever I can get. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to go in there and uh, see what, if we even have any sweet potatoes. So this is my sweet potato bed here. And the last couple frosts we had was basically, what was it, 28, 29 Fahrenheit. And it pretty much killed all the uh, sweet potato leaves. Um, the only thing I have left to do is pull out these vines, start digging into the ground with my sweet potato, or potato fork I should say right here and uh, see if we can get any sweet potatoes I'm hoping to get some I'm, I'm kind of doubtful but I planted these th three sweet sweet potato slips uh, and I think it was early spring it was spring anyways and now we're in November and uh, I'm hoping that's enough time to uh, get some sweet potatoes um, so let's start digging here and seeing what we can get. Can you believe the size of this sweet potato? I don't know if it's any good to eat if it's like eating wood, but that is amazing. Now one of the slips, this must be it right here. I planted right here. Another one over here. And I think I planted one over there. I'm not, I don't remember. But this bad boy is huge. I have to get down on my knees on this one. There we go. Oh, another one. Look. Siblings. <laughs> that is massive. Well, we're going to try and eat them. Cut them up in smaller pieces and cook them. Bake them, whatever. And uh, we'll see how they come out. They're from my own garden, so they are good. I hope. I don't want to poke any. Wow, this uh, this vine's really dug in. A lot of these long tubes or tubers, whatever you want to call them, vines, root vines or whatever they're called, but no other potatoes yet. Man, if you leave any of these 
in the ground or any root for that matter they're gonna come up again next year no matter what that's just the way it is which we'll probably just keep this bed just for that yeah Uh-oh, I feel something here. Look at that. That's a beauty. That is a huge sweet potato. That's more edible than those giant monsters <laughs> that I pulled out earlier. Well, a lot of root here. See all that? All them tubers. Long rooted vine, or long vine roots. But, uh, yeah, you leave any of these in the ground and, uh, you're guaranteed more sweet potatoes. Ah, uh, uh, here's another one. Ooh. Oh man. Look at the size of that. That is a monster. You know, even though I didn't get a lot of sweet potatoes, they are huge. And we can make a lot of meals with this. As long as it's still edible, <laughs> we will find out. Here's another one. Look at the size of this bohemoth. That is a monster. I must got some good soil here. <laughs> Another one. Nice, these things are huge. Oh. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Okay, now this is more like a normal size sweet potato here. This is more of your normal size. Fits in the palm of your hand. That's a nice one. Another nice one. You know, a lot of people will say, why are you even saving these little ones like this to eat? You should just throw them away. Well, for those of you that say that, I guess you are never hungry enough to eat these. Well, I can pretty much guarantee you none of us are that hungry, fortunately. But uh, when there's a time 
we wish we had stuff like this. You know, if a time, a really bad time comes in the near future, where uh, any little scrap we'd be very thankful to have. That's the way we should be all the time. We don't waste food here. Even if I can't eat it, it goes back in the fridge and uh, I'll eat it the next day. And then if it gets to the point where we do have lots of extra stuff that we can't eat, or we don't eat, I should say, because it's going bad, or, or close to going bad, those all go to the chickens. And all the scraps and stuff from the garden gall goes to the chickens. Everything gets reused and used. Nothing goes to waste here. Because, uh, like I said, I guess none of us were, have been, thank God, hungry enough to eat little scraps and stuff. But there's going to come a day that uh, times are going to be really rough. A time of trouble that the world has never seen. Not since the beginning. And uh, being out in the country, it prepares you for all that. Being in the cities, not so much. All right, so these are the sweet potatoes we got out of this bed here. It doesn't look like a lot. These, uh, what are they, seven of them? This second one right here is a foot long, if not longer. These are huge. I can't even put my hand around these things. They're just massive. I don't know if they're going to be tough to eat, but uh, we're going to cut them up into smaller pieces and we're going to bake them. Then these here are your more normal size sweet potatoes. And these here are the uh, finger sweet potatoes, or finger potatoes, I call them. Um, these cleaned up, and you just put them in a, uh, like a toaster oven, and you bake them in there for a little bit, and they're just as good as all the rest of your sweet potatoes. They're delicious. No reason to throw those away. Well, guys, like I said, these suckers are huge. Um, these cleaned up, chopped up into smaller pieces, baked, they are going to be delish delicious. And then we got more of your normal size here. And those little finger potatoes were going to be very tasty. I used to eat those all the time and they're delicious. Just throw them in the toaster oven and uh, they are fantastic. So guys, I got one of these huge sweet potatoes and what I'm going to attempt to do is cook it, but not the whole thing. I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to chop it up into little cubes and, uh, well, cube, like one inch chunks. And I'm going to put it in this little pan here. I got the silicone mat, it's kind of oversized, but the thing is we don't want it to stick to the pan. Uh, we're going to put this in the toaster oven and we're going to cook it at probably 400, 425, somewhere in that range. Um, for however however minutes it's going to take and um see if it comes out any you know if it, if it comes out tender then um that's great because we can eat these if it's still pretty fibery and woody then you know what are you going to do so you know it doesn't seem that bad i don't know i'm going to continue on I'm going to keep cutting this. We'll cut this up into little like cubes, like I said, and uh, we'll go from there. So if there's any bad parts on there, I'm just going to cut them off. And uh, we'll put that one aside. I just want to see if it comes out tender, 
soft and that woody and hard. Um, that's all. Okay, I think we got enough here just to just to cook this amount here. That's that's good enough. Alright guys, so I'm not even gonna season these because like I said I'm just testing them out. And uh I might put a little olive oil on there. But um I just want to see how they come out, if, it, if they're edible. And if they are, it's going to be part of our dinner. Just like that. Again, I'm going to stick these in the toaster oven for, I don't know, 400, 425 temperature Fahrenheit. Um, and uh, however many minutes it takes. I, I don't think they should take, a normal sweet potato like this probably shouldn't take more than 25 minutes or so, roughly. Um, but we'll see. Who knows? Okay, so I'm going to put these in the uh, toaster oven and we'll see the results. So guys, here we have uh, our toaster oven. It's an old beat up toaster oven, but you know what? It works really good. Um, so I'm going to put this right about in the middle. We're going to put this on bake at, uh, let's see, temp oh, it's minutes. Temperature about four, I said four. We'll go with four, compromise a little bit, 420. And uh, we'll go for 20, 25 minutes and see, and see what happens, okay? And then we'll test it out and see how tender they are. All right guys, so it took 40 minutes. Uh, my wife checked it halfway through it after the 20 minutes, 25 minutes was up and they were still a little tough. So put it for another 20 minutes or so. So total was about 40 minutes. And I'm gonna take a, just one out of here. Eh, we'll take two. And one in here. And now they're coming apart. They're, they're nice and tender. So let me bring you in close. Okay, so you see that they come right apart. Okay, as far as the taste, oh man, it's good. I didn't put nothing on these, nothing, and they taste fantastic. Beautiful. Oh yeah, no problem. Now, they're going to take a little longer to cook, obviously. As far as taste, texture, fantastic. Now, that's going to be part of our dinner. <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy it. And, and it's such a good feeling when you grow them yourself, and you're eating them for dinner, it's a major plus there. Okay guys, that was a success. I didn't get the amount of sweet potatoes I wanted, but I gotta remember I only planted three slips and I got all them potatoes. Okay guys, so appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.